have Lenovo G50-45 fan cleaning video. Um, in order to do that, remove the two screws that holds the, the bottom cover. Remove one screw that holds the DVD player. And that's the Wi-Fi card. Simply lift up the, the two cables and then one screw that holds the Wi-Fi card in place. Just remove that. Remove the battery by that holds the, the head by two latches. And then pretty much any screws that you see at the bottom of your laptop, just remove that. Sorry for the shakiness of the video. <clears throat> But, um, so the tools you're going to be needing for this one is a double zero Phillips screwdriver. And because we're doing fan cleaning as well, you need thermal paste. And if your fan is gone bad, you also need a replacement fan. But I'm also going to do the entire, in, in this video in the entirety because I want to do also disassembly of this video as well. If you want to watch how to replace the screen on this model there's another video on my channel you can look it up this is the screwdriver you need flip screw flip double zero screwdriver <clears throat> so all the screws have been removed remove the cable for the fan uh, sorry for the lcd and Simply open the lid and remove the keyboard by getting a prying tool and just put it between between the gap that that's there and lift up the latch and remove the cable, the ribbon cable that holds the the keyboard in place and then remove the rest of the ribbon cable that's for the trackpad and the switch, power switch. Simply get a bit of an edge or get a prying tool um, so you have a bit of space and lift it simply up. Carefully just wiggle them from side to side if you can remove them. Sometimes there is uh, latches that's really stubborn that can't be removed easily. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty nasty, dirty. So you remove the rest of the ribbon cable for the USB and cable for the speakers. And then there's about a few more screws you need to remove in order to simply lift up the motherboard. Now there's one more cable under the <clears throat> under the motherboard it's the bluetooth cable so lift it up a little bit sorry uh, there's no cable in this model uh, for the wire for the bluetooth so that's that's your that's your uh, motherboard in its glory so um they must be yeah so simply lift it up and disconnect the the cable for the power jack if you want to replace that that's 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 your thing and that's the fan as you can see it just accumulates a lot of dust over time that clocks the fan that causes that causes heating issues and whatnot so simply remove all the all the dust and debris and whatever other stuff that blocks the fan and I have made this DIY toothbrush that I use to um, clean up the fan with. So if you got a toothbrush that you don't use, you simply use that to clean up this fan. Because you can't really open this fan unless you want to replace it. That's, that's, a, that's a whole different issue on its own. But it just get around that under the... Yeah, just brush it off and yeah. So you just hold one side of the fan while you brush the other side. And yeah, just 
keep going around and do the rest of them. That's it. <clears throat> Fan is cleaned. Now the next stage is if you want to. Um, not, not that it's needed all the time, but if you want to, you can replace the thermal paste under the heatsink. Because what happens is if thermal paste is old and if it's dried out, then it doesn't allow good conductivity between the heat from the CPU and the heatsink that will take it out. And that causes heating issues on top of the clocked fan vents. So in order to replace the the thermal paste, remove the full screws that holds the heat sinks in in place above the CPU. Yeah, by the way, you just need one Philip double zero Philip screwdriver that opens pretty much all the screws on this laptop. So lift it up, give it a good clean up, and then we'll replace the thermal paste. And it doesn't matter what kind of clothes, clothes you use to clean up the fan, as long as it's, yeah, as long as it cleans it. it there's no requirements on specific kind of cloth that needs to be used in order to replace, uh, to, to clean up the fan. Yeah, um, <clears throat> give it a good clean up. The, the better you clean up the the surfaces at the heat sinks at the, and the, CPU, the better will be heating issues so resolved. So that's your thermal paste, apply that evenly across and put it back and voila, you're done. For thermal paste, fan CPU or any other tools you need for this models or anything else, you can easily get them on eBay. The, the fence for this one is about 15 bucks on eBay and the paste is about a buck or two but the ones I'm using is uh, it's about 15 bucks I think so putting it back together is the same procedure so um, it's just in reverse basically so um, yeah it's not a difficult job it's very very easy and straightforward alright guys have a good day and if you have any questions, comment, comment it below, me or some other user, probably no more knowledgeable than me will probably answer that. And yeah, subscribe, like and share this video. Have a good day folks. Cheers. Bye.